Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another video. A question I get asked a lot is what can I do to improve my grades in maths? What resources can I use? What should I be doing? How should I be studying, etc. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer some of those questions. Uh, there are so many resources out there for GCSE students, it can be hard sometimes to find the right one for you. So I'm going to recommend a few good resources that hopefully can help you make the most of your revision time. Firstly, past papers. Treat past papers like precious diamonds. Don't just look through them and have a go at a few questions and then look through the answer, then have a go at a few more questions the next day. No, treat past papers like the real thing. Find some time during the week where you can sit down for an hour and a half when no one will interrupt you, where no one will be trying to call you and you can have some uninterrupted time. Print the exam out and sit there and try to do the entire paper. Maybe there are some questions you can't do and that is fine, just do the best you can. Now GCSEs are broken up into three exams, so do all three uh, over a number of days. Once you have had a go at all three exams, then mark them and mark them thoroughly, spending time making sure you mark them accurately. Now this will allow you to identify which topics you're good at and which ones you need to work on. So when the papers are marked and you have a list of topics to work on, that is when you need to start really revising harder than topics you're not so good at. Do that for as long as you feel you need to to see some improvement and then try the next set of exams. So what I'll do is link all of last year's official edXL higher maths papers in the description as a starting point for you. So as long as you haven't looked through them already, hopefully that is useful to you. And I'll also link the mark schemes and solutions. The next resource I would suggest is textbooks. I know textbooks have a stigma around them and they're somehow just not cool or whatever, but textbooks really are some of the best resources to study from. If you choose to use a textbook and you feel you learn best from a textbook, they can prove to be one of the only resources you need to study effectively. I'll give you two examples of textbooks which are both good value for money. The first is the edXL GCSE Maths Higher Student Book eBook by Oxford. This you can get for around 8 to 10 pounds and as soon as you download it you have the whole thing on your laptop with more questions than you will ever be able to get through plus the answers at the back. The second book I recommend is edit is called edXL GCSE 9 to 1 Mathematics Higher Student Book brackets edXL GCSE Maths 2015 and this is by Pearson. This book is slightly more expensive than the first one at around 20 pounds but I'd say it's slightly better quality than the other one. Um, so if you want to spend that bit of extra money, then you'll get a slightly better textbook with better questions and exercises. Again, once you download it, you have the whole thing on your laptop ready to go with the answers at the back to check you're working out. I'll post links to both of those books in the description if you're interested in picking either of those up yourself. The next resource I suggest is MyMaths. Now I know some of you may have used this resource before and it can be a really good way to get some quick revision in or brush up on different topics. So it's a website and once you log in uh, and you, if you don't have a login your school should be able to give you one. Uh, you can go to the different topics so let's for example let's say we want to study some algebra and we want to look at inequalities. You can just click on inequalities and let's say we want to look at, uh, for example, shading inequalities. And then you can pick the, you can look through the lesson or you can pick the uh, homework. And if you click on the homework, that gives you some questions to do yourself. If you click on the lesson, that kind of walks you through how to do the different aspects of shading inequalities. I want to Next I want to recommend some websites. These are websites that have a whole load of practice questions that you can go to, download the questions, and they also, the good thing about these websites is they also have the answers. Um, so the first website I want to recommend is Corbett Maths, and, that, and Corbett Maths has a page called Five a Day. So if you, can, if you look at this page, it has a whole list of uh, what he calls Five a Day questions, and they're sorted by month, so you can see here there's a whole list of questions in January and if you click on one, let's say you want to practice some higher level grade 8 and grade 9 questions, you can click on higher plus and that gives you five questions uh, randomized by topic that you can practice. So this is good for practicing 
kind of everything, all topics all at once, and then you can check, and if we go to the answers, you can check your answers there as well. Right. The good thing about this website is that the topics are randomized, so that gives you good practice over a number of topics. However, the bad thing is you can't choose which topics you want to study. Uh, so if you do want questions on a particular topic, there is a website I'd suggest. The website is by a teacher, I believe he's a maths teacher called Peter Bland, and he's created this list of exam style questions. Um, now, if you go to this page, you can see there's links to all the different topics. Um, you can get a booklet with all of the different topics combined, or you can just get booklets on each topic. Uh, but the only bad thing about this website is it doesn't actually have the answers. However, the questions are really useful. It's hard to find good quality exam questions and these booklets have really good questions in them. So as long as you're comfortable finding the answers yourself, then you, then that's a good resource. And the last website I'd suggest is Mr. Carter Maths. So if you have a look at this website, just ignore all that stuff on subscribers. I don't know what that's talking about. But if you go down to this box at the bottom, uh, you can choose what topics you want to practice. And if we click on a topic, let's say we want to study some geometry and arc length, and it brings up a page of questions, and they're sorted into bronze, silver, and gold, meaning so bronze is the easier ones and gold are the harder questions. And you can have a go at those questions there, and then once you're finished, you can click show the answers and then check your working out. Uh, the good thing about this website is that there are an unlimited number of questions to practice. If you finish these questions, you can click uh, new questions and then it brings up a whole list of, of different questions to try. He also has a page called exam questions. And as the name suggests, this brings up exams to all questions that you can practice. What I really like about these questions is that it shows the answers with the working out. So if you're not sure about what steps to take to get to the answer, you can check those questions. So there are three websites I'd recommend. And the final resource, last but not least, is of course YouTube. Depending on how you learn best, using videos in your revision can be really beneficial to a lot of people. Now I'm not going to suggest any particular channels because I think the best thing about YouTube is that everyone has something to share and often different channels have better videos than others on different topics. So let's say you wanted to revise inverse functions. I'd suggest just going to YouTube, searching inverse functions. And if we look at the re results here for inverse functions, the top three videos are actually really good. So the first one is by Patrick James. That's a really good channel to subscribe to if you haven't already. He makes a lot of good videos on a lot of different topics. Uh, the next one is Math BFF. While I think that's more to do with the, the American curriculum, that's still got a lot of good videos on different topics you can look at. And last, and the third result there is from Khan Academy, and Khan Academy is also a really good channel to subscribe to. So YouTube is one of the best resources that I could recommend. Lately, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos uh, if I ever want to research a particular topic, YouTube is probably one of the first places I go to to search for that topic. Um, and I think if you're like me and you prefer to learn by watching a video and learn by listening to someone talk about something, then YouTube might be the way to go for you. So there you go. There are just a few recommendations for resources which can help you improve in mathematics. As with anything, practice makes perfect, so make sure you do a lot of practice problems and it won't take long before you see your grades increasing. I hope you found this video helpful. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface for ideas and resources to help you improve. So if you did find this useful, let me know by liking this video and leaving a comment so I can make more of these types of videos. Also, leave a comment if you have any awesome study tips and resources for others to check out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.